You don't know what I just did. I actually just filmed almost the entire video, but I forgot to turn on my friggin' mic. Oh my god, I'm so frustrated right now. And I talked so much. <laughs> that's okay, that's okay. So it is a pseudo first impression, guys. Welcome to the channel. I'm Jessica Yuk, the Dancing Avon Lady, and welcome to a somewhat first impression of the VDL Creamy Stick Jelly. I am so mad at myself right now. I Nelson got me this mic for Christmas. Uh, very sweet of him. I love him so much, and he's always looking for ways to support my business and making it better. And I had it all plugged in, set up beautifully, ring light on and everything, and I forgot to turn on my mic. Oh my gosh. That's okay though. That's okay because everything that I did previously I can redo because the only first impression part that I caught was the scent of it and the size of it. Okay, so so it's a somewhat of a first impression. So anyways, that's okay. I think I can still use some of the footage that I filmed earlier. So let's redo this. Getting into the video itself, we are talking today about the VDL Creamy Stick Jelly, which is super exciting because I literally just got off a training for the VDL new product series. And the way they describe it, I am super duper psyched and super duper excited about this product because the main thing is it is a dual use product. So this product here can be used for both your cheeks and your lips. It's supposed to have a beautiful jelly-like creamy texture, so it's perfect for people who do have dry skin. If you do tend to have drier skin, you do want to stay away from like powder blushes because they can ha have a tendency to dry your out your skin more, a little, maybe a little flaking or a little bit of caking, things like that. So you want to be really careful about the type of product you use on your cheeks, especially right now since it is winter outside. Well, yeah, it's winter, not even inside, it's technically winter. But it's winter all around. It is winter, and so that tends to the the um, the dry heat inside the house tends to dry our skin even more. It's a buildable product so that um, you have a lot of flexibility with how you want to use it and how you want it to look on your skin. So you can do a really nice sheer dewy look or it could be a little bit more like bold and sassy depending on how much you want to build the product or possibly even with what tools you want to use. So guess what we're doing today guys? We're going to try out it all. Like I said, this is a multi-use product that has that creamy jelly-like texture and it is infused with botanical extracts as well as uh, shea butter to help keep your skin really moisturized and give a beautiful smooth look to your skin. So this is a really great product for when you get ready during the day for your skin at the very beginning of the day or if you need to just to kind of throw it into your purse and have it ready for all of your touch-ups while you're out and about. It is a tinted formula that um, is supposed to last all day on both your cheeks and lips, feel, leaving them feeling really nourished and moisturized uh, because it does have a lot of skin loving ingredients. So some of the skin loving ingredients include the Greenery Complex, which is VDL's unique um, skin refresh recipe, which includes eight plant extracts with antioxidant properties that help to protect your skin. And this, guys, makes me want a smoothie. <laughs> so the list includes broccoli, apple, carrot, beetroot, blueberries, quinoa, cucumber, and rosemary. So all of those things put together is part of their greenery complex, which is supposed to be really great for your skin, as well as it is also infused with berry extracts. Uh, this, the berry extracts, it helps create a natural color, and it also works as a skin conditioner um, to help the appearance of dry skin and also to help restore like suppleness to your skin. The berry extracts include strawberry, raspberry, and blueberries, and they work together to bring out vitamin C and antioxidant benefits for your skin. And of course, like I said before, it is also uh, created with shea butter for a naturally silky soft finish. This is perfect for you if you want something that will give you a dewy natural look or if you want a little bit more pop by uh, building on the color but also if you're looking for a jelly or a creamy texture blush or lip product it's also great for you if you are looking for something that is long lasting enhances your natural coloration and um, if you are looking for that really easy put into your back pocket throw into your purse type of a product that is both going to be useful for your cheeks and your lips. All right, it's supposed to be a really easy glide on, so 
let's give this a go. Application tips. I did smell this once already, so it's not going to be the most genuine first impression right now because of my audio. I do apologize, guys. This is the product. Isn't it beautiful? So this is it, and the coloration of the product itself is matches the coloration of the tube. I do love the tube. I think it looks like a nail polish when I first opened it up. I was like, it's a lot bigger than I thought it would be. It really looks like, like a nail polish to me. The other thing is that the swatch of it is actually quite similar to the top. So it's pretty close. I think this just has a slightly shinier finish. So we're definitely gonna see once we put it on to see what it's gonna be like. I love the scent of this. When I first smelled it, I was like, oh my God, this would make an amazing, amazing body lotion. But now that I'm smelling it for the second time, and then I can process it a little bit, it actually would also make a really, really cool room mist. It just, it smells really happy. It has like those citrus brightness to it that just smells like, woohoo, so happy. Yeah, I really like it. It must be all those berry extracts. Before we uh, do this first swatch, guys, if you are new to this channel, make sure you do hit that subscribe button as well as that little bell icon beside it so you never miss a video notification. And if this looks like something fun for that you would like to do as well, be a beauty ambassador, make sure you go to the link below and click that join Avon button so you can get your online business up and running right away and I'll be here to help you out. So here we go. Let's swatch this baby. All right. Dum, 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 dum. I love the smell of this. It smells so good. All right. Oh, it is super slippery and easy to put on. Wow. It's like more slippery than butter. Does that even make sense? But look at that coloration. Wow. That's bright. That's really bright. All right. I think it'll be awesome for my lips. I'm a little hesitant for my cheeks, but that's okay. But I did like one, two, three, four, maybe four wipes there. Let's just do a single wipe. One wipe. Two wipes, three. So you can definitely see how it is like buildable. So this is one, two, three, and that would be like four, maybe even five. And it does, if you look, it does have a bit of a shiny finish. It's not catching the camera very well, but you do see a bit of a sheen to it, which is really nice. All right, I'm gonna wipe this off a little bit so that it doesn't catch on my clothes. Now it just looks like I have a rash on my arm because I put a lot on. Let's test out this baby here. Ignore this and this. I've had a bit of a massive hormonal breakout. Uh, Nathaniel fully weaned and so I am no longer breastfeeding him and my hormones went crazy. Did you know that breastfeeding, breastfeed weaning depression is a real thing? I could not stop crying. Like literally I was, Bless Nelson for like putting up with me, but like I was so upset, like I could not stop crying. So anyways, this is my my visitor right now. Hopefully my face will calm down soon enough and I didn't want to put too much stuff on it. So first off, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to try to dab it on. I'm going to also wipe off my lips because I have some lip balm on. So natural lips, natural cheeks. I have nothing on my cheeks. I do have a little bit of concealer under my eyes. And I had some concealer under my nose, but it might be gone by now. What we're going to do is we are going to try to do two different ways. One way they said that if you want a more sheer finish, what you can do is you can dab it onto like a makeup sponge. So I'm going to use this beauty blender. It is clean. I washed it. It just looks a little horrific, but I did wash it. It's just kind of stained. I'm going to dab it on and then I'm going to try to apply and see what that looks like. So here we go. We go dabby, 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 dabby. So this is one way to do it. And then we're going to dab it on my cheeks. All right, here we go. Okay. 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 It's still really bright. Oh my God. It's so bright. Maybe I dabbed too much. I think I dabbed too much. All right, so we're gonna move to the other side and try to dab some of it off. Like it's blending really easily though. Like it's moving really easily. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, mucho's better. Much, 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 much better. Oh, I actually kinda like it. Oh yeah. Oh, it's so pretty. Okay, it is really pretty. Ignore this. Oh, that is quite pretty. It has like this nice little dewiness to it. And it has like, see that? A little bit of glow. Let's put on my eyeballs. Do you guys have my glasses? I love my glasses. 
yeah, it has like, if you can see the difference, this side has, this side has not, right? It just has this like natural glow to it. So first off putting it on, I was like, oh my gosh, that's so bright. But now after you blend it, it blended so easy, guys. Like it actually blends a little bit easier than the cushion, the cushion blush, to be honest with you. Although I love my cushion blush, but it did blend a little bit easier than that. Like just, but it's really bright. Okay, so that's one side. Now I'm gonna try the other side, just dabbing it on and then using my fingertips because that was another way to apply it. For more color, dab blush onto fingers and apply directly onto cheeks with your fingertips. So we're gonna try that one next. So I guess not to do this, but to do this. It is so creamy, guys. Like literally, it feels like silken butter. I've heard of whipped butter, never heard of silken butter, but that's that's what I'm going with. All right, so we're gonna do that. Oh, oh, little bit goes a long way, guys, just so you know. Oh my God, it's all right. <laughs> There's a scene in Bridgerton. Anybody here watch Netflix and binged watch Bridgerton? Anyways, it's this scene where, where, where uh, Daphne gets like the rouge put on her cheeks and this is what it's reminding me of. But I think I might've put on too much, but it is really bright. However, I do love how easy this is to get to put on. But yeah, I, you can tell, like it is a lot darker than this side. <laughs> I feel like when I was like five and I got into my mom's makeup stash. But still has that really nice dewy finish, which is nice. Mm, it is a very rosy, like, oh, I spend a lot of time outdoors in fresh air. And that's the type of look I think that it's kind of giving. What side do I like more? What side do you guys like more? I think if I put less on this budget, I'd probably like this side a little bit more. Although in the camera, this side looks better. Interesting. But that's really, it's really pretty. Like it is really pretty. Like in the camera here, it looks absolutely gorgeous. Even lot, like in real life over here, my, my mirror, it looks pretty good guys. I do like the dewiness of it. Now we're going to try on the lips. They said that we could just literally apply this like a, a lip balm. So I am going to try it that way, but I'm also going to try doing applying it with my fingertips simply because I probably feel more comfortable that as opposed to getting the bacteria from my mouth on the product here. So after this, I shoot this video, I am going to clean the top of it after I try it this way. It's really big for a lip balm. I love how clean it is. Oh my God, I love this lip color. <gasps> Guys, this is a gorgeous lip color. If anything, I'll use this constantly as a lip color. Oh my goodness. Look at that. My top lip is naked and my bottom lip has it on. It is gorgeous. It's so fresh looking. Oh, ooh, mm, I likey likey. I super likey likey. Oh my gosh. And the texture of it, guys, is so nice. Oh my God, oh my God, build even more. Okay, okay, just got more intense. <gasps> it's beautiful. It's beautiful, okay. Now, let's try it with my fingertips. When you apply it with your fingertips, it doesn't go on as well. It, it's not that it doesn't go on as well, it just, it doesn't go on as smooth. Like it doesn't have that really super creamy feeling to it. Mm. Can you see a difference? Okay, this side here, I just applied directly from the tube. This side I applied with my fingertips. You can see the difference in the intensity. I like the look of it as a lip product when I tie it directly from the tube. It's like better than butter. So it's like my lips but butter <laughs> or better than butter. Wow, I love the color for my lips. Okay, I'm just gonna clean this off real quick. Oh my God, guys, this product is redonkulously gorgeous. And now that it's kind of blended into my skin, even on the cheeks, it's fabulous. It is super fabulous. Oh my God, is this going to replace my cushion blush? It might, it really might. Wow, okay. Jesse likes, this is, this is really nice. I might have to get a couple more colors. I might still try, I don't know. Ah! If I, the thing is, if I get the other colors, 
besides the rose flake, I probably wouldn't, I would probably wouldn't use the red one. So this does come in four different shades. It comes in Riding Hood, which is this bright, vibrant red. It comes in the Flowage, Flowage. I don't know if I'm saying it right, but you can make fun of me. I, I'm cool with that, guys. But yeah, this is Flowage, Flowage. Let's say Flowage to make it sound fancier, which is this beautiful fuchsia color. Oh my gosh, it looks so pretty. And then there's Gretel, which is a very deep kind of plummy color. It looks, it looks really 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 like rich and a little bit like a like a darker almost like a brownie purple and then the one that is exclusive to Avon so if you want to get it you can only get it with here at Avon is Rose Flakes which I think would be a stunning 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 highlighter for the tops of your cheeks or even you know what I don't know if we uh, Avon doesn't endorse this just saying but my opinion you might even be able to put it just a little bit under your under your eyebrows as a highlighter or center of your lips or just on the cupid's bow just to kind of give a little bit of a pop i think because it looks really beautiful anyways this is the creamy stick jelly vdl product in flowage we'll call it flowage flowage all right we're going to go stick with that guys loving it it is so stunning so beautiful it feels great my lips feel super smooth, super, super duper moisturized, hydrated, nourished. It feels awesome, like really awesome. And even on my cheeks, now that I've kind of like let it blend into my skin a little bit more, it has this gorgeous flush of color that it, it looks really natural, right? You do have to blend it. You're going to have to blend it like a lot or else it's going to look like this on my cheek, right? What you saw earlier. Oh my God, it's so bright. Definitely highly recommend this. If you want something super fast, super easy to, you know, get on the go. I mean, when we go go back to the gyms again, this is definitely a product that'd be great to just throw into your gym bag because you have something that you can put on your cheeks and on your lips with just one eye product, done. Some mascara and my eyelash curler, I'm set for the day. So if you enjoyed this video, guys, make sure you do let me know. Give me a big fat thumbs up for this video and leave a comment below. What is your favorite multi-use product? I want to hear from you. Also, if this looks like fun to you guys and you want to do this too, trying out products, getting paid essentially to run, to give product product opinions it's so much fun to do go to the link in the description box below get your online store started up right away you can sell coast to coast all across canada and i will mentor you along the way if you're new to this channel hit that subscribe button as well as that blue ball icon beside it so you never miss a video notification i do have new videos up every single week about business tips product launches um, first impressions, hauls, and more. If you want to see more about my family life, make sure you jump over to our Yix R Us channel where we talk about food, life, and travel. I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for joining. Bye!